What's up, y'all? This is the LAW, a.k.a. the most talented kid in the music biz. This is my choreography, Dance Style Part 2. Um, pretty much breaking down my microphone stand techniques. Um, you know, all around the world and pretty much all the corporate shows and the regular shows that I do, I'm very well known for um, how I handle the microphone stand and how I do different things with the mic. So I figured um, this would be a great way to show you a basis of how one of my popular trademark styles came together. So um, as usual, it's always made up with a combination of different people who had different angles of dancing because a lot of times what people fail to realize is that when you're a dancer, you understand what blocking and what movement and what angles are all about. So watching people like James Brown and, and Michael Jackson and Marlon Jackson, I understood how to stand, how to be ready you know, to go, to go into a move and, and different things at that level and how to, to not lose the intensity even when you're doing something that seems so complex to the audience. And that's usually what causes the excitement. So um, my style came together with the microphone technique thing, of course, starting off with Marlon Jackson. Now, when I say Marlon Jackson, it's because I use Marlon Jackson's one leg step, which is like this, to kind of um, set me up to grab the microphone. So, you know, of course, without grabbing the microphone, I mean grabbing it like this and then being able to move to the side. So the first technique, of course, like I said, was the Marlon move where I go like this. And then I come back. So now apply that with the mic stand and this is what you got. And you come back to your spot. And that's another very important thing too. always remember to come back to your correct spot. A lot of times cats do that and their angles be off by the time they go back. So the one thing I learned about James Brown and the Jackson 5 and Jackie Wilson, that no matter how many moves they did in between the eight counts, it was always on the one, there was a secret timing, and it was smooth. So I know I have an aggressive dance style, so I had to make sure that everything I did and how I ended it and how even how I began it was always smooth. So even when you see me go like this, and that's just a slowly break it down for you. That's still a smooth way to go about it. So, of course, from then on, I apply the, um, the James Brown thing. So, the James Brown thing, of course, is how you throw the microphone stand back. However, James Brown used the microphone cord to pull it back every time he threw the microphone towards the audience. Prince did one up on him by doing it without using the cord, which means he lightly put his foot on the flat round base of the microphone. And for those who know what a flat round base is, it's this thing here. See that? So I put it down, and this is pretty much what Prince did. See that? So you get that whole angle in, in, in terms of that. So and imagine combining the Marlon Jackson move going into the James Brown Prince move. And this is what you got. See that? So that's pretty much how I developed that part of it. But then, of course, you can't just stand there and then do the same move over and over again. So eventually, you have to kind of go somewhere else. So with Michael, it pretty much began with the whole glide thing that he does across the stage, which is basically this, for those who don't know. You know, where he would just kind of move to the side, like he does that whole thing. And I kind of combined that along with the other two steps that I came up with. So let's see how it turns out. You got your Marlon Jackson, come back around again, and this time you move to the side, but then you can't forget that. So once again, and that's how you glide back across the stage. And that's pretty much how I came up with most of my mic technique because it let me to do things like this. You know, when you come up or, you know, you can slide into it, kind of, and then bring it back. So there's a lot of different ways to go about it. And that was one of them. So when you put all that stuff together, now you have to combine the singing and the talent that comes along with it. So it could just be something like... You don't know what you mean to me. You don't know what you mean to me. I said, won't you take me by the hand, girl? Oh, yeah. Like, see, that's that whole thing. So to learn how to do that and breathe and sing at the same time while doing the moves is always how you want to come across. Aggressive, smooth, know your blocking, and know your angles. There it is.